What's going on guys, it's Coach Bronson here. This is another video. We're gonna talk about three things that you can do when you're getting started with the resistance program to get the most out of it and start simple. Keeping resistance training simple as you get started is what we're gonna talk about. Now, uh, before we do that, I wanna make sure you remember to hit subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and click that little bell. Make sure that you get notified every time I come out with a new video. I do a live every Tuesday evening and I post a video or I publish a video every Friday as well. So just keep, keep note of that. All right, let's get started. Three things that you can do to simplify or to make resistance training easier, okay? First thing we wanna remember is that the focus of everything that I talk about is you. You are an individual, you have your own experience, you have your own background, you have your own goals, and you are at a specific place that is unique to you, okay? Your environment, your situation, your history, your experience, all those things come into play when we talk about doing any kind of training. So that has to be a consideration as we move forward. So keeping that in mind, the idea here is to find something that works where you are where you are right now, and then you can build on top of that, okay? Remember, there's no expectation that you start anywhere over there, okay? Figure out where you are right here, and then take little steps. Little steps, you got your comfort zone. All you gotta do is take one step out of that comfort zone and then move more. That comfort zone gets a little bigger, you take another little step, bigger, take another little step. It doesn't take big leaps and bounds, okay? Small steps, that's all we're looking for, okay? So that goes into the first thing. Keep it simple, that's number one. The number one thing that you can do to make training, resistance training, weight training, whatever you wanna call it, simple, is to actually keep it simple, okay? Remember, all we're doing is we're focused on quality of life, so that means the things that you need to do should replicate what you're trying to do in your real life, okay? You're not a soccer player. You don't need to be training for soccer. You're not a bodybuilder. You don't need to be training like a bodybuilder. You are a normal person who's just trying to go about their day and have the freedom to do the things that they wanna do. That's all it is, okay? I need to be able to get up and down out of my chair. I need to be able to gro go grocery shopping. I need to be able to do yard work or play in my garden or go play with the kids or go for a hike, go for a bike whatever it may be, if there's activities in your life that you wanna participate in, then those are the things that you need to replicate or i.e. do more of so that you can get better at them, okay? Remember, if you're having a struggle doing something, then find a way to do that thing more often until it gets easy. That is the simplest way to improve your, your body's ability to function, okay? If getting out of the chair is difficult, then get out of the chair more often, okay? If walking up the stairs is difficult, walk up the stairs more often. Doing the things that are challenging is what's gonna make the things that are challenging easier, okay? Don't avoid them. If you avoid them, you'll never get better at them, okay? That's the first thing, keep it simple. It does not take a lot, okay? The second thing you can do is add some resistance, add some weight, add a challenge that kicks that movement or thing into another level. And here's a great example. If you're going for a walk, if you end up get to a point where you can walk, you know, I'm walking three or four miles a day, I'm walking half an hour a day, whatever it may be, at some point that walking is no longer gonna be, be a challenge and you have to start walking for 35 minutes, for 40 minutes, for 45 minutes, for an hour, right? Before you start feeling like it's a challenge to keep that challenge up, your body's gonna get used to it, okay? You get trained, remember the things you do make the things you do easier. So if you keep walking the same, then eventually it's gonna get so easy and you're not gonna have any challenge anymore. Why are you doing it, okay? Here's how you up the challenge. Grab a gallon of milk, grab a gallon of water, grab some a bag of dog food, grab a kid, grab a pet, I don't know, grab something, grab some books and carry those in your arms. Carry it at your side, carry it in front of your chest, carry it on your shoulder, hold it in your hands. Do something to add some weight to the movement. Now all of a sudden what you've got is instead of just walking, now you're also working on your grip strength, which we know is a biomarker for health as you get older. You're also working on your shoulder strength, you're working on your posture, you're adding core work into it. So now you're doing things to manage, manage weight moving left and right while you're walking. You're working on your balance and coordination. So it adds a bunch of levels and all you had to do was pick something up and carry it with you on your walk. Okay? And I'm not talking about grab a, a two-pound set of, of dumbbells and put it in your hands and pump your arms while you're walking. 
I'm specifically talking about an object, a single object. Okay, and here's why a single object matters. A single object requires you to use your body to manage the weight because it's pulling you in one direction, forward, sideways, backwards, the other side. If you get two things in your balance, your body does less work, okay? If you get one thing and it's an odd shape, it's an odd object, it's not wrapped around your body, not talking about a weight vest, okay? If you just pick up, like I said, a stack of books and carry the books. You may look if you, you may look funny. Somebody may think you're going to the library as you walk around the street. That's okay. All right? Find something that you can carry on your walk. And the same thing applies for any of the other movements that you do at home. If you get to a point where getting up and down in your chair is no big deal, then uh, pick something up and then try to get up and down in your chair. Walk up and down the stairs with something in your hand. Make it a little bit more challenging by adding some weight that will make it more uh, make your body have to do a little bit more work for the same types of movements, okay? And then you're just replicating doing those same movements that you would do in everyday life, all right? We're not even talking about going to the gym. When we go to the gym, it's very similar. The workouts that you're doing don't need to be complicated. You can do a lot of the same stuff. Start adding weight as you go, as you progress. Weight is a progression as you get better. There's, there's an obvious point where your body weight just won't be enough, and you're going to need to add some weight. Because in life, we deal with moving things. In life, we deal with um, pushing and pulling and picking things up. And if we don't practice that in our training and our exercise, we won't be prepared for it when the real time comes. Okay? The third thing. The third thing you can do to uh, try to keep things simple. Um, and not it's really less about, I'll be honest with you, it's a little bit less about keeping it simple. It's more about keeping it sustainable. Okay? And that is mix it up. Okay, don't always do the same thing. If you're a walker and you walk five days a week, it's time to walk two or three days a week, get some resistance bands two or three days a week and do something different. If you're always just lifting weights, I hate to tell you guys, it's time to maybe go for a jog. Okay, hop on a bike, get on a rower, do something to change up what you're doing, add some variety, give your body some options in other ways, other things that you can train, okay? Take a day off and just stretch, okay? Flexibility is a component of fitness. If you're not working on your flexibility, then you're not as fit as you could be, all right? If you're only working on strength and you're not working on endurance, then you're not as fit as you can be. If you're only walking and you're only working on endurance and you're not doing strength training, then you're not as fit as you could be, okay? There are 10 components to fitness, okay? Balance, coordination, accuracy, flexibility, strength, power, speed, endurance, stamina. All of these things are components of fitness. If you're not working all 10 of them in some fashion, then you are missing out on a piece of fitness. What does that mean? What that means is you are not as metabolically healthy as you could be because your body is not able to function in all of the different ways it is designed to function. Okay? Fitness is not about how you look. Fitness is about how you work, how your body functions. Okay, keep that in mind. All right, so that's it, guys. Three things that you can do to kind of keep your fitness simple. Make sure that you keep it simple. Stick with the basic movements that you do every day. Make sure that you add some resistance. As things become easy, you need to make them a little more challenging. And the easiest way to do that is to pick something up around your house that's got some weight to it, that may be a little bulky, grab it, and then do whatever you would normally do just with the extra weight, okay? Um, and then the third thing, add some variety. If you're always doing the same thing, you're never gonna get that full range of fitness and improve your metabolic health, okay? Hope that uh, helps you guys out. If you have any questions, as always, just ask, and I'll see you next time.